So if you're looking to learn how to weekly plan and level up your planning game, you have come to the right place, my friend, and I know this video is going to be so useful for you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So we are going to be planning together in this video because a lot of you guys who watch my videos regularly will know that I weekly plan. And I mean, if you are new here, I never really say this, but welcome to my channel if you are new. I am Holly and I am slightly obsessed with weekly planning. I just feel like it's the best way to plan it works really well for me i started weekly planning on the 11th of may in 2020 that was the first lockdown we do not want to cast our minds back but i have been weekly planning since then and it has really changed the game for me in terms of planning and organization and i feel like anyone can take this template and adapt it so definitely like this video if you enjoy it as usual comment down below if you have any other questions or anything and subscribe if you want to stick around i recommend doing this in a notebook and i use a bullet journal because i do not like lines on paper as we know and i love having the dots sorry that's an awful page in my journal just so that i get everything straight and aligned and yeah so i recommend getting a bullet journal this is my one i do have a link to it down below but i will also be sharing with you guys a template to download and there is a link down below so you can click that download the template and the reason why it is a pound is just because i'm going to be donating all of that money to help ukraine at the moment and i feel like this would be a way for all of us to do something together you know so I'm just going to take these two pages in my bullet journal. We're going to do one week here, another week here. The first thing I do to help me out is I just get up a calendar on my MacBook so I can see the dates and everything. One of the main reasons why I love weekly planning like this is because it's not like a calendar and like a proper diary. So if you say you don't want to weekly plan one week, that's fine. You can miss a week and then you can just start again on the next week or in a month's time, you know, whenever you want to resume. It does start on Monday and it goes through to Sunday that's just a week for me but you know you can change it if you want to if that doesn't float your boat i also use a fountain pen by the way which is just a parker ink pen so the first thing i do is i will write out the month and then the dates at the top so we are still in march thank goodness my first week is going to be the 21st of the third 22 and it runs until the 27th of the third 2022 and then on this side i'm gonna do the same and then i will just write april 2022 at the end to show that it runs into a new month as well step number two is then to create the actual template so monday through to sunday as i said in kind of like little boxes for this i just use a pencil and a ruler i did used to have a longer ruler which makes it easier but i can't find it right now so i just have to use the small one so we have monday through to thursday along the top and then friday through to sunday along the bottom and then i have boxes along the bottom and i will talk to you guys about that after we've made the week template first so my plan for this video was to make it as comprehensive as possible for you guys so you can fully recreate this or you can download the template as i said and the first thing to say is that i use a standard a5 size bullet journal and for my sections monday through to thursday those are seven boxes each i will then leave 14 boxes down before writing friday through to sunday and here friday is nine boxes across saturday is 10 sunday is also nine and as you can see this fits perfect across two pages in my journal this is what it looks like right now i then just add dates to each of the days and then i will just add a bit of shading i do not normally shade on that angle i normally do it the other way i don't know why i'm really doing but anyway so we have two weeks blocked out i will then start filling in like what I've got planned for those weeks. And I will talk you through that process because my weekly plan basically houses everything. You know, everything that I need to do will go in this plan. However, I do need to like check my notion and some other things in order to make sure that this is fully populated with everything. But now let's just talk about these six boxes along the bottom. So they line up with Friday, Saturday and Sunday, just because I think it looks nice like that. You could have like eight if you line it up with Monday to Thursday, but I prefer the boxes to be a bit wider at the bottom and these are all based on like what i essentially do all of these six boxes along the bottom also apply to the full two weeks that's why i also like to plan over two weeks because these 
kind of just give me a bit of a bigger picture and this is you know where you can add your personal touch to it you can customize these boxes the sixth box however is one that i think should be kind of fixed what you'll find is that things are scheduled for further down the line like beyond these two weeks so i always have an upcoming section and so if anything is scheduled for say i don't know the middle of april and these two weeks only run up to the start of april on the third then i have this upcoming section to make a note of that and then when i'm making the next two weeks i can then insert that on the correct day i just recommend you do that the upcoming box it is split into three columns as well so in the first i put a little square box so i always use square boxes on my weekly plans you'll see that those are my like tick boxes i'll then write the date of the event and then what the event is and this tick box is not to tick it off when you've done that event but to tick it off when it is scheduled in an actual weekly plan so the upcoming section works kind of differently to a normal tick box and yeah these five remaining boxes then so what do i write in each of them as you guys know i do quite a few different things i manage everything myself essentially and so that is why this weekly plan like holds me accountable and i love it so much because it keeps me disciplined i feel like i get so much motivation from my weekly plan as well but in my weekly plan i dedicate these boxes to firstly youtube so my youtube videos that i'm working on over those two weeks and then my second box is for any like campaigns or sponsorships that i am currently working on and then i will have video ideas for like reels or tiktoks a lot of them are very spontaneous but i do like to plan certain videos as well the fourth box then is for by holly g which is my second youtube channel and then this fifth box before my upcoming section is dedicated to my goals for these two weeks so what do i want to achieve over these two weeks or at least start working towards i recently introduced this and i honestly love it i just think it's such a nice way to like not get fixated on like the individual items on your to-do list think about the bigger picture the whole world you know don't get fixated on the tiny things you have to do so basically it goes youtube sponsorships reels slash instagram by holly g goals upcoming and that is just the way i plan these boxes at the bottom i don't have a box for every aspect of my life so for example like holly g me and my online tutoring business doesn't really need a box for itself because a lot of the planning and everything to do with holly Gmia happens in my inbox but for example when i was doing my masters i had a box dedicated for my ucl stuff so it just changes and as i said it's totally like customizable aside from really the upcoming box which i do recommend you have in it because you'll find that you do need it so if you're at school say for example and you're doing for a levels you could have a box for each of your subjects and then the goals box and then the upcoming box that might be a way that you do it but as i said just play around with it find something that works and you might not find the perfect way to do this first of all it might take some trial and error so we have it looking like this the next steps are then to fill everything in as i said and i'm going to talk you through my thought process behind this and these things can be done in any order and again it will depend on you but the first thing i'm going to do is refer back to the last two weeks and see if there's anything outstanding and then transfer that over i do not like highlighters as we know so i color things in yellow to make it stand out and because i do this on a saturday like coming up to the end of the week it makes sense to start looking at what I'm not gonna get done or that's not gonna be finished and transfer it over. Next, I'm gonna look at the upcoming section from my last set of two weeks, but I'm also gonna go back a bit further because I just need to look for anything that doesn't have a tick by it basically because that is how the upcoming section works. You tick it off when it is in a plan, as I said. We're introducing another pen at this point. I use a biro when I tick things off. Is that me just being me? Yes, it is but I like things done a certain way. Because it's then up, I'm gonna look at my Google Calendar next. I don't really use my Google Calendar, but sometimes it picks up events from my emails and it puts them in that. The Gmail calendar also tells me, you know, when there are like holiday things and you know, like April Fool's Day, do we want to write that on the 1st of April? Not really. Oh my gosh, Mother's Day is coming up. Wow, we need to know that. We are often not very organized with things like that. So we're gonna write that in. You can write things the way you want to, but I use square tick boxes as I said before. And then if I have an event or something happening at a certain time, I usually write what it is and then I write at, so the little at symbol and then the time 
this is just kind of like my shorthand. I should also say you can fully do this online, like you don't have to write it out. I'm just obsessed with writing an ink fountain pen and I love my bullet journal way too much. I also just love having a physical plan and being able to see it and writing things down. That is just me. It will always be that way, I feel. So now we've dealt with the Google Calendar, I'm gonna go to my Notion. I firstly schedule all of my workouts and my running using Notion. So I really like using Notion for that. But as I said, because I like to have everything in one place, so in my bullet journal and in my weekly plan, I will transfer what I'm doing on each day. So I'll write down like the run I'm doing or the workout I'm doing on that day. And secondly in Notion, I have all of like my YouTube brand stuff because I work with the management. They're honestly amazing. And we all use Notion to do that. We all collaborate in Notion. So I have all of like my video ideas and my plans and my calendar in Notion. And so I need to refer to that to see when I have deadlines. We all work in Notion, it's the best thing. And it's just game changing, honestly. And then the final thing is just to add all of the other things I'll do on each day. I don't normally plan this far in advance, so I don't know what I'm gonna be doing exactly on each day. And that is what I'll do nearer the time. But basically what I'm doing is I'm just creating individual to-do lists for each day. For example, my to-do list from yesterday had on it things like to find out about travel vaccines, to think of a title for my TEDx talk. I had my workout in there. I had to start learning my TEDx talk, some proofreading work with Holly Gemia. I had to send over a video for approval, make a thumbnail, do all of my emails, post some videos and TikToks, finish some filming and find a tutor for a student through Hologemia. So that is everything from yesterday. And because I don't know what I'm gonna be doing on, you know, like Wednesday, the 23rd of March, which is quite far in advance at this point, I'm not gonna be able to do that right now. You know, it just forms nearer the time. And with my individual to-do list for each day, I don't do this every day, but on like the busier days, for example, I will number my tasks. So I'll say what I do first, second, third, fourth, etc., And I just then follow that through. I don't do this every day, as I said, but that helps me to like schedule my day and prioritize and it means that you don't spend time thinking about what you're gonna do first and second you can just get on with it and i will usually do that like the evening before or in the morning and the reason why i like that is because some things have times associated with them others don't and sometimes things can take me longer than i expect or sometimes i'll do it faster you never know but i like that approach in numbering things this is very specific to me but i do usually put the video that i'm uploading on a particular day at the bottom of like my days in my weekly plan so tuesdays friday Fridays and Sundays are when I try to upload videos on this channel and then Saturday and Sunday for like biology stuff which I'll also add in here as well. I do have some other random things in Notion that I will look at so like my life goals, some month overviews. It sounds like I have a lot of things flying everywhere at this point. I do know where everything is. I don't think there's ever one solution for everything but my weekly plan is like the best I'm gonna ever get and yes I have to refer to some other things but that is because they serve their own purpose and they are good for other types of planning or making notes of things i don't know so that is essentially how i weekly plan from start to finish and as i said i've been weekly planning for a long time now it works so well for me and the reason why i do it all in one single bullet journal is because i started making weekly plans a bit before may of 2020 but i was doing it on random scraps of paper but that just wasn't great because they were flying everywhere you can lose them potentially and also you can't like transfer over the things that were outstanding to the following week so easily because you know everything was just going everywhere on random bits of paper so i recommend having a bullet journal or something to make your weekly plans in have them all together in one place i can easily refer back to any of my other weekly plans you know it's so great and i have literally loved planning this way from a very young age in school we had like school planners and i loved my planner so much i used it religiously every single day i was planning kind of like this almost over a week because we had our weekly planners and i loved them so much so i'm actually gonna thank my secondary school for inspiring this weekly plan and this setup but i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video found it useful and informative definitely let me know if you try weekly planning i hope this has encouraged you to start weekly planning and just see if it works for you because you know it might not work for you but i at least encourage you to try it and yeah if you want the template as i said there is a link down in my description box you can just donate a pound everything will go to ukraine and yeah i think that's everything for this video definitely give it a thumbs up as i said at the start if you enjoyed it comment down below subscribe if you are new and hit the bell so you know when i upload and as always i'll speak to you very soon in another video bye
Yes, the fake grass is here just to make it look quite nice on the desk. A little bit of shading. We love shading. Uh, so I literally cannot speak today. We have something happening on the 22nd. Where is it gone? I had a matcha to drink whilst I was doing this, but I drank it all before we even started filming. So that went to plan, right? I love it so, so much. Um, I love it so much, I will kiss it. 